important, but there's something more important and very important, and Conrad Birdie Fan Club is one of them. Do you realize what you're giving up, Ken? I'm sorry, Ursula, but my mind's made up. I mean, I'll still play his records, but things like the pledge and the scream, they're past me now. You're giving up the scream? You mean the whole memory thing? You're not going to give up? Oh, Kim! Okay, dear, would you please get off the phone? I've got some calls to make. All right, Mother. Sorry, Ursula, I've got to hang up. You'll explain to the other girls, won't you? I suppose I have to. I mean, after all, are you absolutely sure, Kim? Are you absolutely sure? Positive. After all, I'm 15. It's time I settled down. <laughs> when you're a skinny child of 14, wired with braces from ear to ear, you doubt that you could ever be a peony. by her first name. It makes the mother and daughter more like pals. And your father? Well, I call him Harry, naturally. By the way, I think Harry took the news about Cuba and me awfully well. Don't you, Doris? Yes, I don't know. I'll hold. Yesterday was mother today I'm a pal. Wouldn't you rather just call me mom? I mean, that's modern. I'm sorry, but the times are changing, and if you don't go along with them, you'll be left behind with the old folks. Conrad Birdie? is coming here to kiss me? Doris! Mother! Mommy! Baby, baby, what is it? What's wrong? It's Conrad Birdie, Mommy. He's coming here to kiss me. That's nice, dear. Now why don't you just put your head on Mommy's little shoulder? No, you don't understand. Conrad Birdie is coming here to Sweet Apple to kiss me goodbye. Oh, Mommy, Mommy. I never thought I'd say this, but God bless Conrad Birdie. <laughs> <laughs> 